and welcome back to Temple Boy Turnings. I am Steve. This week's project is not turning related, I'm afraid. So if you've come to watch me turn a project this week, I took a break from the lathe and uh, I've been carving rocks and I've been uh, engraving mirrors and stuff like that. Um, and it's been, it's been cool. While I've been off work, I've just been kind of relaxing and doing a few bits like that. And that's what's brought me to kind of doing this video. Um, while I was messing about with mirrors and engraving them and stuff, I kind of came across, by accident, a new technique. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn one of these regular mirrors. Uh, I picked this up for one euro fifty cent in a shop called Deals here. It's one of these you know no frill shops uh, here in Ireland, and uh, we're going to turn it into a stained glass window like this. It's translucent. The light shines through it. It looks really cool with the light when it's up against the window. It's night time at the moment here, so I can't show you it in the window. But um, yeah, it's a, a cool effect. It's quite simple. So head over to the bench and I'll show you how we made a stained glass window from a mirror. We have our mirror here. It is a 250 mil round mirror. I think it's about eight and a half inches round. It's not very thick. It's not a top quality mirror. And on the reverse side, um, this is just a staining where I've cleaned off a label. They have like a sticky label on the back and they can be quite annoying when you're carving the back of these. It's kind of a painted surface and underneath that is like a is the mirrored effect that gives it the, the mirror. But you'll see that as we carve that. We're going to carve that away. So first off, I need to draw the design that I want. Now there's a lot of designs on the internet. You can go ahead and um, and download one, adapt it yourself and then use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a rough sketch up in pencil first. You can do this differently. You can use carbon paper and you can print off a picture, lay that on and you can go over with carbon paper and trace your image onto this if you're not very good at freehand. Um, or if you own a laser engraver you can laser the design on the back. There's, there's many ways you can put your design on the back of this, but I'm just going to freehand draw it. I've got a basic tree of life type design drawn on there. It's just windy branches and stuff like that. The tree is going to be black and then we're going to have bursts of colour in between the tree um, that will create the stained glass. So in theory the, the black outline of the tree would be the equivalent to the lead in between all the, the coloured pieces of glass. So now what I'm going to do is um, these these are like accent lines that are going to be in the tree and they're going to be they're going to remain white so I'm going to be just carving either side of that so I'm just going to mark where to carve up to just to give me guidelines so that I don't go over because once you once you clean off this surface it's done <laughs> So the dark lines I'm just going to carve up to and leave the thickness of the pencil that I've coloured in. Because they're going to remain white I'm going to leave those till last to carve out because I don't want the colours when we add them on to bleed into the white areas. So now it's just a matter of um, start cleaning away all the white area of the mirror. 
Now this can be done on regular glass, just on normal panes of glass. You can buy some panes of glass or you can recycle glass panes. The only difference is that um, it's harder to mark your design onto the glass. Um, now I suppose you could paint the glass with some white paint and then do same similar to this. But uh, it's, these mirrors were quite cheap to buy so it's just, just easier to do it with this for this demonstration. Now the tool I'm using to do this is a cheap rotary tool. It's uh, Guild is the, the make and model and it has the uh, flexi arm on it. And I do, have, um, I do have it plugged into a foot pedal because it's just easier to control it just by switching it on and off with a pedal. I have a foot pedal here and I can just switch it on and off and I have it left on full power. It's variable speed but I just have it on maximum power. I do wear protection for my ears and I also have a respirator that I put on because this creates dust and you don't want to be breathing that stuff in. I also have a vacuum cleaner set up. This will be fixed to the bench and as I'm carving that will suck away any fine dust. The bits that I'm using in the rotary tool are the diamond bits. If you can see that. You can pick them up um, in kits probably for about three or four euro with any kind of bit that you want for this and you can use these different grinding wheels they're for polishing and stuff but they do mark the mirrors as well and you get different types of engravings on the, on the mirror I have just a it's like a ball it's just the diamond tip ball on the end and I'm just going to start off by just tracing either side of all the thick lines just to give me a, a reference to go from and I'm going to go all the way around the outline of the tree. Cue the really annoying music. outline of the tree done and if I was to turn it over the outline of the tree. Next stage is we're going to start filling in the whole tree area because that's going to be black. If we were to do the colours first then what would happen is the black would bleed into those colours. They're just an abrasive grinding wheel and then we're just going to clean off some large areas. Okay, so we have the whole tree carved out from the back, apart from the lines that we left. And if we turn that over, you'll see that the tree is carved out there and the lines stay as mirror. Now what I've got to do is I've got to create a border, a black border all the way around the outside. And to do that, I need to cut a disc of card. So because I want quite an even border all the way around this and I'm only freehand in this, um, I've cut myself a disc of card. It's about five millimeters smaller than my mirror and I'm just going to tape that into place and that will give me an edge to run my rotary tool around and uh, hopefully get a nice neat border now oh, there we go what you have to do when you're working on the very edge of the mirror as well is just work very lightly let the tool do the work don't push hard because you will crack or break off the edge of the the mirror very easily that looks pretty good to me Let's see that hard with the reflection. That's the border done all the way around. I'm going to hoover off any dust that's remaining on there and then uh, we're going to add some colour. 
Don't be tempted to use water on this and clean it because what that will do is it will wash away any fine grit that's still attached to the mirror and we need that to absorb the colour so don't wash it away. All right, we're ready to add the black into this now. Now the good thing is about having this back in that we've removed, it's given us an edge to work to. So all we have to do is literally just scribble the colour in. And for the black, we're just going to be using a regular Sharpie. Uh, it's just a black Sharpie. And we're just going to literally just colour in the whole area that we've just carved out. That's all the black coloured in. Uh, nothing fancy, just scribble it in there. I've given it a couple of coats. Um, my Sharpie actually started running out, so I used a, a whiteboard marker. It's black, it does the same job, but what I like is it's given a different contrast colour of, of black, which is cool as well. The next thing is now, we've got to pick an area that we're going to do next, grind it off, colour it, and then move on around to our next area. So I think I'm going to do this side. So now we have cleaned out the whole left hand side there and that is going to be yellow. What I have here are some cheap, um, they're Creo Box watercolour pens and uh, one end is a brush and the other end is a pen and I'm just going to use the brush end and just flood the colour into where we've just ground away. Now when you do grind this away make sure you get rid of all the silver and that's why I was uh, kind of holding it in front of me and tilting it as I was doing it because the light will make the silver shine up. That's that area done. I've got two smaller areas here. Here we go. And when you turn it round, you have the yellow showing through. And as you can see, the black looks a lot better against the yellow now. So I'm going to carry on now. I'm going to grind this side. We're going green this side. We're going to go blue up here and we're going to go red here. And then we're going to, if we can, hmm, we might go kind of an orangey brown at the bottom here. I have all that ground off and we're ready to add the rest of the colours now. Um, we've got one coat of yellow there but I could do with giving it another coat, just clean it up a little bit. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to flood the colours using the watercolour pens. put just a little small amount of orange and we're going to blend some red into that. And we'll go red from here on. I have a couple of blue colours but I'm going to go with the lighter blue to start with and uh, we might just Blend in a bit of the darker stuff. And I'm just going to get some of the darker blue. Let those dry and then uh, all that's left now is we've got to um, just take the small grinding bit and just take out the white bits that I originally carved out. So 
just where they've gone a little bit too wide cleaning up I'm just going to add a little bit of black so I've just filled that in so it's a little bit more subtle uh, when we look at the other side so there's just one more thing to do now and that's to coat the whole back of that with some clear lacquer so there you go folks one stained glass window from a mirror uh, you can you can mount it either way really uh, this way it has um, a very sheeny look to it and it's textured it feels kind of cool to the texture so you might like it that way um, or you can turn it the other way where it's uh, smooth glass and uh, no texture it's entirely up to you now it's been lacquered it's completely waterproof so uh, you can even hang it outside yeah you can get glass drills so I suppose you could drill a hole in the top and you can have these things hanging from a tree don't forget to follow me on Instagram on Facebook um, it's all under the title Temple Boy Turnings if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe and the little bell so you can get notifications I do a weekly live show on Tuesday nights and uh, I put regular videos up on wood turning and any other kind of crafts and things that I, uh, I have a go at. So uh, I'll see you next time and thank you very much for joining me. Bye guys.